Anyway, <clears throat> around Christmas 2012, Pip finally met James when Joe's car packed up and they called by for a lift. And he was immediately his charming self. And um, almost gained instant approval from Pip. And from myself at a later time, because it was only a little bit later I got to meet you. And I thought, oh, nice chap, that you could do with a comb. But anyway, <laughs> okay. And needless to say, being the uh, charming prince that he was, and despite the haircut, he did meet one or two fair maidens along the way. And he certainly slayed a few dragons. <laughs> But deep down, our prince still had an empty heart, and his search for his one true love continued. So, in very rom-com fashion, our eyes met across a crowded bar, and instantly I was hooked. Five minutes later, as we sat down at a table together, with a drink, Joe wearing a very fashionable summer dress and nice heels, I realised two things. <laughs> Firstly, that this beautiful lady was very much out of my league. <laughs> and secondly, that I was sat across from her in jeans, scruffy trainers, and a t-shirt which said plenty of fish on the sea. <laughs> this ring as a sign of our marriage as a sign of our marriage may it remind us of this moment may it remind us of this moment and the commitment I have made to you and the commitment I have made to you all that I am I give to you all that I am I give to you all that I have I share with you all that I have I share with you she's generous thoughtful caring the most beautiful person inside and out someone who makes me laugh every single day and quite simply put someone who i just couldn't live without joe today is the start of the next chapter of our adventure together and i can't wait to make a lifetime of memories as we continue living this dream <laughs>